When you're the best in the world, greatness isn't just expected. It's something one demands of themselves. But only the true greats can deliver on that promise each and every time out. Consistency. Ballyhoo garlic, Papa. He's gonna do a trick today. Oh, you put the keys in there, right? Oh, no, that's uh, oil. No, the keys are in my backpack. Okay. You gotta raise the engine sometimes when you're shallow. Yeah. Because the... And then turn it, right? Yeah. The deal on the bottom will scrape and it'll turn your boat completely. You just want it in there enough to where you, you'll stir you. Ira, get in a bite, get in a bite, get in a bite, get in a bite. Ready, yeah. Venga, oh. sick. Come on, Papa. It's a red. Oh, yeah, it's it? it's a red. On I set up my First cast, Papa, with a garlic. Within seconds, Ira. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like a big cat, dude. It feels like a big cat. It's kind of head shaking. No, it's I, no, it's a red, all right. It's not a big red, but it might be a slot. It might just hit. Yeah. First shot. That's the other net. Uh, my net is over here. Yeah, no, you can put that one back in there. I had put it over there so it'd be out of the way. Yeah. It's a good start on the first cast with the first dose of oil. And it's a male too, it's croaking really nice. He's a nice fish. Alright guys, you guys saw it, first cast. Filled it up with a uh, squirted some oil on it, garlic. I showed you. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do the limit. Let me see. All right, while George measures his 18 and a half, -er, I'm gonna put some garlic scent. <laughs> hey, it's 19 and a quarter. <laughs> 19 and a quarter, guys. There you go. Take a dive. I just put the uh, Mr. Ballyhue bites on this rod. I'm using a 30 pound mono today just because that's what I have in my bag. And the size of hook is a uh, five aught, right? Yeah, five aught. Five circle octopus hook, one ounce weight, and I have about two and a half, maybe three feet with a leader on a Florida 2500 spinning reel. With uh, this one's got the uh, exotic high performance seven foot medium fast action rod. The rods sold at RGB Bait Masters, in case you want to check it out. Great rod, super light, and uh, it handles the bull reds with ease. And the uh, Florida reel you can get at SWP at Southernmost Wildlife Products in Brownsville. So let's see, let's see if we can get a good red here. I'm gonna put this spinning rod over here. Yeah, wherever it's not in the way. I'm not gonna use it. I don't even know why I brought it. <laughs> Habit. You're just used to it. Yeah, let me see here. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, cast. <laughs> <laughs> And just in case you guys want to know where we're fishing, I call this a Super Bowl line. So any of you guys that follow me and have actually spoken to me of where I catch my fish, you all know where the Super Bowl line is. Just a made up name that I did, just so I won't forget.
Mira, 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 mira. Véngase. Come on. Number two, guys. The other one wasn't a keeper, but this one is. I can feel it. I feel it in my bone, guys. Yeah, it's a keeper. He's a little feisty. It might just, no, you know what? It might not be. I got him, I got him, I got him. I'll, I'll just carry him in. He's a little baby run. Calma la dude. Look at that hook set, guys. Hey, that's pretty good. Big old chunk of ballyhoo. Right on the lip. These guys have been feeding on crab, on crustaceans. Look at the blue on it. This is a beautiful color. See that? <laughs> I'm gonna broke my wrist. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh I wasn't ready for it. Man. Man. I wasn't ready for that one. That's what I get for not paying attention. Getting a little bit, I think. There it is. <laughs> there it is. That's a good one, George. Drags tight. <laughs> I stole it from you. Running that way, running that way, running that way. That's a good one. He's a decent little guy. Oh, come here. <laughs> you ain't ready yet. Super. Super. Super strong little guy. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. He was feisty. He was bro. feisty. Very feisty. For like a 28. That's what I thought it was. My first keeper of the day. <laughs> See how big this guy is. He was fighting like a 28. I'm surprised he's not that big. Check it out, guys. My first little red of the day. He was running hard. Ah. He's a good size, though. He's not small either, but definitely was running like a good 27, 28. He swallowed the hook, but I took it out with this hook right this hook right here, this hook removal tool from RGB Baitmasters. Always works. I'm like a uh, surgeon with these things. You're a dentist? A, no, a surgeon. Not a dentist. <laughs> this one's gonna be at 23 and a quarter. A little bit shy off 20. 24. Man, definitely ran harder than that. A week. Um, no, but it just for, uh... There it is. He's on. I'm not sure how big he is, but it feels like at least like a 22. He's way out there. You had just cast it. Yeah. Oh, he's coming at me. He wants to see his maker. See? You caught the first two fish, but... I think you caught the first two keeper. Hopefully. Let's see. Yeah, he's a 20. Mm, I don't know. These guys are strong today. They feel bigger than they are. Thank you, sir. He might be a 20. Yeah, he might be 20. Oh, there we go. That one? That one. Hell yeah. I think this is about the same size, pa. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Get over here, get over here! Real, real. Get over here. Real, real. Oh no, this is definitely bigger than uh, yeah, 20. Let me open my bell. 
There you go. 24 in the spot. 24 in the spot, good. Yeah, guys. Let's recast real quick. Three in the bucket on the first drift. Three on the bucket on the first drift, guys. On the first drift. There it is. Oh, double hook up. Oh, double hook up. <laughs> Let's go. We got onto them. <laughs> double hook up. Double hook up. At, at the same oh, time. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> at the same time. Oh, right behind you, no? Where's the net? Double hook up. And we brought them in at the same time. Professionals, guys, we professionals. I can flip. I can flip them. There you go. <laughs> you recording that one? Yep. Check it out, guys. Double hook up. They're twins. At the same time. It's probably gonna be like 20, 21. Ah, oh, dude, maybe 22. Okay. <laughs> this one's at, <laughs> no, this one's at 22 inches. Uh, mine's gonna be like 21. Then we got 21. Yes, sir, right on the dot. <laughs> one more, one more, pound it. Good job, bro. That was crazy. We're using uh, the Ballyhoo bites, but today they're a little bigger. Bigger bait, bigger fish. And as usual, we're spraying it with Mr. Ballyhoo garlic. If it ain't original, you're delusional, Mr. Ballyhoo. That's right. Let's see here. He must have it in his mouth. Yeah. Vámonos. There you go. Bring it in. All right, Papa. You can put up the lights. We're done. I'll leave them off for now. Mr. George got it. There you go. Bring it in. All right, Papa. As I'm setting up. We're done. I'll leave them off for now so I can get you. <laughs> Mr. George got it. The keeper, the last one of the day. It's pretty heavy, bro. Let's see how big it is. We beat the sun from going down. Oh yeah. Oh, back off the drag a little bit. Just a little bit, George, if you don't mind. He's good. The drag is loose, bro. It ain't that. Yeah, it's good enough. He just got some good shoulders. He wanted to play tug of war. Which way are you going? He's coming this way. He's coming this way. Get over here on my left. Oh, look at the size on this one. Come here, buddy. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. We one. got it, Papa. Last one. Oh. And just like that, guys, two-man limit within about two hours. We beat the sun from going down even though we got out here late. Twenty-three and a quarter, perfect keeper size. Uh, dinner date. Look at all those fishies. Look at all those fishies. I want to remove the drain. All right, guys, and one more time, just so you guys don't forget before the video finishes. On this video, I'm gonna play. Um, we went out fishing yesterday. Uh, with uh, uh, with my two sons and uh, two other uh, clients of George, and uh, 
this GoPro that I'm talking to you guys on has the footage from yesterday. I didn't delete it on the other one. I accidentally deleted it when I formatted the memory card today when we started fishing. So it kind of took away and uh, I kind of lost a lot of the footage from the other people catching fish. So it's going to have, I'm going to add some of the clips, whatever I see on the camera from yesterday's trip. I'm going to put it on at the end of this, this video here. And if you stay tuned, it's going to be interesting because at the end of the video, everybody was able to eat some hearts uh, since uh, George instigated it, everything. Um, everybody had to eat a, every every for six fish that we had, everybody had to eat one heart. So if you're into that kind of thing and you like to see people eat stuff like freaking uh, what do you call barbarians or cannibals or whatever, you're going to want to stay till the end to check that out but we already limited out i got my uh three george got his three within two hours and uh, we're gonna give it another couple of minutes and then we're gonna call it and don't forget to check out rgv bait masters swp full stringer pirates landing fishing pier for my Seth jigs uh tandem rigs mr ballyhoo garlic scent mullet scent crab scent anise all the scents that he's got for the the oils um the ballyhoo bites i know the pier is selling them um now gordon's is selling them swp is selling them and then obviously rgb bait masters um is the uh, the main warehouse where they sell you know tons of them but we're gonna give it a couple of more minutes and see if we can get another fish another red just for just for fun at this point and then we're gonna go ahead and head back to the ramp and fillet these fish and call it a night so stay tuned if we catch another one, we'll go ahead and post it. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and go into yesterday's videos, whatever I can find on the camera. I know my son's right here with me, so they're probably going to want to watch this video. And I'm going to have them. I, I know uh, one of my sons, uh, Dominic, caught, I think, two or three reds. Uh, two of them were undersized. One of them was a 21. Nate caught a 24-inch red that I thought was a catfish the entire time. So that one was fun. Um, so let's keep going. Oh, and don't forget um i almost forgot uh captain george on facebook his name is captain george erosa i'll put it somewhere here in the bottom uh we're still running a raffle uh for a charter on the boat and it's uh 25 dollars per number he's got i think like 13 spots available still so if you guys want to come out on the charter with us and uh have the ability to kind of experience you know, being out on the boat, if you haven't been on a boat before, maybe you have, uh, have the experience to be out here with the captain and get your reds and have them fillet them for you and all that good stuff. And most importantly, come out on YouTube as well uh, for a, um, you know, for your own memories or whatever the case is. I think I got a catfish. Um, make sure you go to his Facebook at Captain George Arosa and buy yourself a slot so that way you can have the ability to uh, win in that raffle. Oh, and make sure you follow me on Facebook too. Seth Fishing YouTuber. Follow me. I'm going to kick your I'm just kidding. <laughs> Check it out, fillers. Got another little redfish here. Oh, man. We've been killing it. Killing it today. And these are all for fun, so we've already limited out. But we just wanted to show, see how the uh, little new spot. Well, not a new spot. An old spot of George and uh, the ballyhoo bites and the garlic scent put it into work just to kind of give you guys another video another example of how they work and how effective they are and so you can go get you some baby oh, man this one tired me out for some reason <laughs> getting old <laughs> let's see how big this one is i'm using my little light here since i don't have the accessory mod on the gopro on my chest This guy is at about 22 and a half, 22 and a half inches. Got a little keeper here. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. There he goes. Is it, is it a red? 
Catfish. It's a red. I'm drinking it. Catfish. No, it's got to be a red. I bet it's catfish. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Walk this way, walk this way, Dom. Walk this way. I bet it's catfish. Walk that way, walk that way, walk that way, walk that way. There you go. Bring it in. Walk to the other side of the boat. Yeah, it's in salt water a lot. What? Is that a keeper or what? First keeper? I don't know. Yeah. It looks like it might be borderline 20. Yeah. No, no, you were right there. Yeah, you gotta eat the heart. That's the rule. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm getting ready to eat the heart. For real? Huh? Good, I eat it. I eat it myself. You can ask your dad. Yeah. Right? It's on video. It's on video. Right there at the shop, I was cleaning a red. Yeah. He jumped out. How big is it? Let me see it. Is it in there? Oh, yeah. Same. <laughs> All right, Nate. Now you got to eat it. <laughs> Just open it. Here. Here, give me the water. Uh, Did you eat it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Here. Honestly, not that bad. Look, uh, the hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, drink some water so you don't choke. That's not bad, right? It don't taste good. No? I don't like it pretty good. It tastes like nothing, but it also feels weird in my mouth. It's soft, squishy. Yeah. 